destructive mining is a serious issue that we need to urgently address. The government must not let abusive and destructive mining firms to continue at the weekend. We must not let mining operations that cause irreversible environmental degradation to continue any further. In Congress, we have filed resolutions to permanently cancel the permits and licenses of these firms, particularly the nickel mining firms operating in South Dallas. As we call on the permanent closure of these mines, we strongly urge the national and local government to provide alternative livelihood for all the hundreds of thousands of affected mining workers. Saving the environment by following you must not spell doom for the lives of the affected mining workers. In addressing the issue of destructive mining, we recognize the need to reorient the Philippine mining industry towards serving the needs of domestic and self-reliant economic development, national industrialization, and agricultural modernization. Instrumental to this is the passage of a pro-people, pro-environment mining bill. We are also one with you in the call to stop the attacks on people, schools, and communities, especially that of the Romans, just to give way to foreign mining companies and other business interests. The youth, as heirs to the country's veritable natural resources, vehemently oppose unrestrained plunder of our environment. The 2016 elections is a crucial opportunity for us to put forward our youth and people's agenda that includes upholding the rights of the marginalized sectors and, of course, preserving our environment. Samahan niyo po kami sa Kabataan Portalist na ipagpatuloy ang lahat ng ating mga nasimulay at palakasin ang ating mga laban. Isulong natin ang bagong politika, ang politika ng pag-asa, pagkilos at pagbabago. Sama-sama natin panindigan, sama-sama tayong kumilos dahil ang mga kabataan bilang mga pag-asa ng bayan ang siyang dapat manguna. Manguna sa laban ng sambayan ng Pilipino. Maraming salamat at nakikita.